What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Ogre Battle 64. Since last time, I've cleared out all the enemies that were here, and here, and here. And, uh, we've got our friend the witch with all her pumpkin heads heading on in. So, once again, I want Destin to be the one to take it on. I've also sent Tyler down to the stronghold down here because we need someone chaotic to liberate Greena. In Aqua, I'm going to send, I believe there's an item around here somewhere. In one of those two places, so I'm going to send her out to try and find that. Other than that, for the most part, I believe this mission is mostly over, having taken out all of the legions. Hopefully things won't go too badly for us against these pumpkin heads. The witch is gone, so uh, at least she won't interfere. I guess the the fact of the matter is pumpkin heads I don't think can even really kill you. So I guess we're pretty much in the clear against these guys. There's nothing else in the area who is going to finish us off, so we're all good. 108 damage. That's a pretty strong dark quest, Severdin. I believe he's my highest hitter with uh, magic now that Orwell has turned into a lich. That's the one downside to a lich. Like, your damage, your overall damage goes up because you get an extra attack every round, but. Your raw damage from each attack also goes down because you. Yeah, your damage is split between more rounds. So, uh. These two strongholds here are both neutral, so I'm sending out Margaret. Uh, I've actually. Oh, best men of wind. I didn't actually even care about getting that. I'm sending out Margaret, and I've switched her, the leader of that. You'd leave. I've switched the leader of that unit to something a little bit, one of the phrase that's a little bit more neutral. I believe that there's another item waiting for me right there. Yay, liberation! No. Alright, I was gonna say, where's Europia? But I changed the leader to Seraphina, my my princess. And there is White Mute, another Draconite magic book. Come on. Liberate. Damn it. Capturing a lot of strongholds these days. Shouldn't end up being that big a deal, but I do still want to be careful. Anything else to find in this mission? I don't think there is. Oh, uh, yes, in fact, there is. Uh, I might as well get Aqua to do it. There should be an item around there, but... Now, the leader for this mission is, uh, just like the enemies you'll find here, is determined by whether you've gone to Latium or not. So, if you've got all the undead, because you're coming here before Latium, the enemy leader is a lich. Whereas, if you're facing lots of demons and stuff, because you have gone to Latium, then what you're going to be facing is a... Uh, it's going to be Leia's father. Um, something or other, Silvis. Uh, and he, his class is called a Vanity, whatever that means. And there we find a Gambentane. I believe that's a spear. It looks like a spear. So yeah, after killing out killing those legions, you basically don't have anything else to worry about in this map. At least we liberate those two. Make back a little bit of ground. 
So because this is uh, the land of the Silvis, let us send Leia Silvis to kill the boss. Because, you know, that usually gives us extra dialogue. It's rather silly to have their lich all exposed, though. I mean, as powerful as liches may be, they're still very frail creatures. Which makes sense, because they're literally, like, skin and bones. I wouldn't expect a lich to be a very caring soul. It's kind of funny, like, you would think that the the death of Count Silvis and the reanimation of all these undead would be ha what happens if you take longer to come here, but instead it was, uh, like, the longer you take, all of Count Silvis' men are still alive. I don't really get why that is the case chronologically, but... So yeah, if you went to Ladium first, Count Silvis would have been taken over by the Infernal Aura, and... Wow, that's a pretty lame treasure. And... You get, like, this touchy-feely death scene and all that stuff. Well, I guess that actually does make sense in the chronology of things. So I guess the the way it works is if you go to Latium, then Count Silvis succumbs to the Infernal Aura. And that is the end of another mission. So now all we've got left is Barpeth and Latium. So, uh, I'm going to take some time to refresh all my restorative items and do all that other between mission mumbo jumbo. And I'll meet you back here in just a moment. Okay, so we're back. We've fixed up all our dudes, equipped all our new stuffs. And now I'm going to demonstrate to you the power of White Mute, our newest Drake Knight magic. Uh, actually, I don't know if this will even be the best demonstration, because I think White Mute might be Virtue Elemental. I could be completely wrong, I'm just assuming mostly based on its name. And these guys are, you know, Virtue Dragons. Actually, this looks more icy than Virtue-y. It may also be that the Draconite magic is all non-elemental. I think that's honestly probably more likely the case. Also, I want to point out that the Gambitane is actually a, uh, a priest mace, not actually a spear. And so I gave it to Katrita because she needs uh, help, more help with her healing than Aisha does. Aisha's healing is ridiculous enough as it is. So, that's what White Mute looks like. Let's go back to Bane. And, before I move on, there's one other thing I want to do. Namely... I need to bring Meridia, who is in Orwell's unit. Over to where am I taking her? Melt House. So let us do that. Alright, so let's pay a visit. Because let's let us less how's that phrase go? Lest we forget. Meridia is from Argent as well as Leia. I guess Meridia has an admirer. Well, uh, I do like presents. 
raised here. Okay, so let's get out of here. I can't actually recall exactly what that does. I believe it's an accessory for casters. That's what would make the most sense anyways. Raised here. Um, two resist strike and it doesn't... Uh, it seems to be thoroughly unimpressive in every single way. Uh, so unless this does something that I can't remember, that was actually kind of pointless. Oh well, I'll figure that out before the next episode. For now, let us continue on to Bar Path. Apparently there are demons about here. So t abrupt and to the point you go. Can't you actually tell us why we're actually fighting here? Good lord, this map is massive. Fort VZ. Um, is that actually true? I don't think it is. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure demons are not stronger at night. Even if that is true, I'm, I'm more concerned by how ridiculously massive and spread out this map is than how strong the demons are. Okay, and we have a shop right here. What can we buy? Henya masks. Let's buy a bunch of those. Man, they're even really cheap. Jeez. Claws, and none of them are better than the twelve. No, still. Whale mail. Let's buy a bunch of those too. Finally, something to spend my money on. Buy a few more heal packs too. Might end up needing them. Okay, next step is of course get every every to a thousand never. Apparently, today is just one of those days where my ability to talk is even less than normal. See, I swear, I don't know if it's just Ceres or flying Utes in general, but I swear they can see farther. Because like, as soon as I got my Ceres out on the field, these two other Saturos just popped up. Ah. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do here is actually, I'm going to use a Love and Peace. Oh, uh, apparently not. Um, how about now? Hmm. I thought you could use love and peace on Saturos, but I guess not. Oh well. Let's see what we got here. Dude behind an ogre. And some gremlins. Couple dudes and an ogre. And a dude and a few goblins, okay. Uh I don't know, let's send Give her a chance to catch up on levels a little bit. Maybe send Actually no, let's send Barry after this dude down here to the south. And let's send Aqua out this way. Before I do that, 
Let's mess with the formation a bit. Let's go like that. Hopefully uh, these guys aren't so far behind that they get completely wrecked. Whoa, that was actually pretty good damage. I mean, comparatively, 110 damage for a three-way combo magic is not amazing, but it's definitely more than I expected. Do it again? Haha! -ha. If that other goblin or uh, gremlin hadn't resisted, it would have actually died too. That was actually much better than I expected. Perhaps I haven't given you enough credit, Freyas. Maybe you are useful to me yet. Preparing for combat. Don't you dare block me! I uh, should be able to finish these guys off, no problem. Poof! Enemy unit just... just gone. It is no more. Although, come to think of it, there are only four guys instead of five there. Counting the ogres, too, of course. Kinda like this unit that Aqua's about to fight. There's only four guys here as well. You would seriously think that by this late in the game, they would at least provide you with proper units to fight against. But no, apparently not. Well, at least one of them can sort of do damage. I think the right goblin should die. Yes, indeed. Not too shabby, Seraphs. You very, fl very rarely disappoint. That's the word I was looking for. I almost said frequently. But that would be incorrect. You can't run away from me. I'ma catch you and I'ma kill you. I'ma kill you dead. Like that. Kill you with my halo. Terra armor, that's not like 20 scenes ago. So, uh, I think with that, I'm going to leave it here for today on Let's Play Ogre Battle 64. Catch you later!